So, ChatGPT, the world's most popular AI-powered chatbot, was recently upgraded to feature new functionalities. If you haven't tried these upgrades, trust me, you're missing out. I mean, ChatGPT has always been a great tool, but with these latest improvements, the chatbot will ultimately become unstoppable. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about these new upgrades and how you can utilize them to improve your interactions with ChatGPT. So, on the 3rd of August, 2023, OpenAI announced on X, the micro social media platform formerly known as Twitter, that it is producing a range of updates to enhance the ChatGPT experience for users. As you can see on your screen, the tweet says, we're rolling out a bunch of small updates to improve the ChatGPT experience. Shipping over the next week, anyone reading this could have been deceived that these updates are actually small, but in the real sense of it, they're not. Now, don't get me wrong, these new features are certainly not the biggest upgrades in the world. However, the sort of impact that they will have on user experience with ChatGPT is something that can almost not be quantified with words. I'll come back to this later on this video. But for now, let's explore these so-called small features that are causing a lot of buzz among ChatGPT users. We start off with perhaps the most important update, which is prompt examples. You see, a blank screen can be really intimidating, not only for writers, but also for AI chatbot users. And over time, this has become one of the biggest problems facing ChatGPT users. You know how you open ChatGPT and all of a sudden you're staring endlessly at the screen because you don't know what to ask the chatbot? And even when you know what to ask, you still have to figure out how to ask it because in the end, the way you ask questions could also determine whether or not you'll get the right response from ChatGPT. Trust me, I've been here myself on several occasions and I can tell you for free that it's not an enjoyable experience. However, with the introduction of prompt examples, starting a new conversation with ChatGPT has literally become a piece of cake. I mean, you'll no longer have to sit behind an empty screen trying to come up with the right questions for ChatGPT. Basically, how this feature works is that at the start of every new conversation with the chatbot, users will be provided with some sample prompts. For instance, in this case, the chatbot provides me with four sample prompts. As you can see here, the first prompt example says, design a database schema for an online merch store. The second prompt says, give me ideas on what to do with my kid's art. The third prompt bothers around generating a code snippet of a website sticky header, while the fourth prompt example says, come up with concepts for a retro style arcade game. Now, the good thing about all this is that I don't necessarily have to use these prompts. I mean, if you want to, I can just input my own prompt here and ChatGPT will respond accordingly. But for the sake of this video, let's try out one of these prompts and see how the chatbot responds. So. Here I clicked on the second prompt, which says, give me ideas on what to do with my kid's art. As you can see here, the response from ChatGPT was quite intuitive. It returns five very good suggestions of what I can do with kid's art. Alternatively, users draw inspiration from the prompt samples to ask ChatGPT questions. Drawing inspiration from the prompt sample demonstration, I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 script ideas for an AI YouTube channel. Much like the prompt examples feature that we spoke about just now, OpenAI have also introduced the suggested replied feature. Now, what this means is that users can now satisfy their curiosity by exploring a topic in greater depth with a single push of a button. This feature can be very useful, especially for users who are constantly researching topics or subjects that they don't know much about. So, basically, all you have to do is ask the first question, and from then on, this feature will supply you with appropriate questions to keep the conversation going. And even if you don't have any questions to ask, you can simply use the prompt examples feature to start a dialogue with ChatGPT and the suggested replies element will enable you to continue the discussion for as long as you want. Aside from the simplicity of the process, the suggested replies feature makes human interaction with ChatGPT more dynamic and engaging. Still, on the issue of improving user interaction, OpenAI has integrated a range of keyboard shortcuts into ChatGPT to promote the efficiency and enhance the productivity of users. Out of curiosity, I tried some of the most popular shortcuts and they all work. For instance, according to the information I found online, pressing Control shift c will allow you to copy an entire block of programming codes. To try it out, I first asked ChatGPT to write me a C programming code for solving quadratic equations. Then, I pressed the Control button plus Shift and C at the same time, and it worked. As you can see on the screen, it says I even got a prompt which confirms that I've been able to copy the code block. Meanwhile, during my research for this video, 
I also saw that pressing the Control shift c allows users to copy the last response shown by the chatbot. So, I decided to try it out. First, I asked ChatGPT to tell me the hardest course in the world, and the chatbot was nice enough to give me a list containing 10 of the hardest courses in the world. Next, I pressed the Control shift c shortcut, and I was able to copy the chatbot's last response. Pressing Control shift i also allows you to set custom instructions. When I press the shortcut, it led me to this page right here where I can tell ChatGPT everything I wanted to know about me and how I wanted to respond to my questions. And if you want, you can toggle the sidebar back and forth by pressing Control shift s Interestingly, the keyboard feature is not a premium element, so both premium users and non-premium users can enjoy it. To view the complete list of keyboard shortcuts that work for ChatGPT, all you need is to press Control plus slash. Before now, users have had to toggle between the GPT 3.5 language model and the GPT 4 language model when using ChatGPT. But as we all know, most premium subscribers like to use ChatGPT powered by the GPT 4, especially because of the benefits that comes with it. To start with, the GPT 4 model was trained on around 100 trillion parameters compared to GPT 3, which was trained on 175 billion parameters. Also, GPT 4 is a multimodal large language model which means it accepts text and images as input. GPT 3.5 only supports text inputs. Furthermore, the GPT-4 large language model is 10 times more advanced than GPT 3.5. GPT-4 has roughly 16 times more token context than GPT-3. Basically, what this means is that with GPT-4, users can interact with ChatGPT for longer. However, the problem is that once a user initiates a fresh conversation, the chatbot automatically defaults back to GPT 3.5. So, in other words, every time premium users start a new dialogue, they always have to switch to GPT 4. Thankfully, this won't be the case anymore because with the new update, GPT 4 will be set as the default model at all times. This will save users the hassle of having to switch language models every time they start a new conversation with ChatGPT. Thanks to the code interpreter Beta, which is one of the newly introduced updates by OpenAI, ChatGPT Plus users will now be able to upload up to 10 files to the chatbot. This includes text documents and CVV files like keyword research data. As part of the update, users will be able to choose what they want ChatGPT to do with files. Some basic tasks that ChatGPT can perform on these files include data comparison and analysis, data extraction, chart creation, trimming, and more. Another one of ChatGPT's Achilles heels that has been addressed by this update is the login experience. Since ChatGPT was launched in November 2022, OpenAI has operated a strict policy of logging out inactive users after two weeks of inactivity. And that's one of the things that this latest upgrade is designed to solve. From now on, inactive users will no longer be logged out after two weeks of inactivity. The new login duration has not been officially released, but early whispers suggest that it could be up to 30 days. While these updates may seem or sound small on paper, they are bound to have significant impacts on the user experience. I mean, with these new features, ChatGPT will literally become unstoppable, and you can imagine that there will be greater adoption for the chatbot in the coming months. Even non-technical users will find it easy to use. And if you like this video, check this one out too.